guys, it's Carlton Flowers here, and man, I got some funny stuff right here. The other day I said we were going to talk about cell phones. I want to show you the history of cell phones as far as my life is concerned, like what we did 20 years ago. Shut up, you young people. I know what you're saying. <laughs> you're old. I wasn't born 20 years ago. <laughs> Zip it and just box the video, okay? Now, here's a little picture here. This is neat. You remember these bar, candy bar style phones? They were kind of chunky and blocky, and he had all these Nokias. And um, I've got a couple of these sitting in my trunk of my car to this day that were through Southwestern Bell. If you remember Southwestern Bell, that's kind of neat. Check out this phone, man. This is cool. What is this called? Do you know what they called this? This is the Brick phone. It's kind of interesting. This is like, what, 1988, 89? Correct me if that is wrong. When was the brick phone popular? You know what? There was only like three kind of people that had this phone. Number one, you were in the government, like CIA or FBI. Number two, you were a multimillionaire. Or three, you were a drug warlord from South America. Mm -hmm. That's the brick phone. I wasn't rich enough to have one of those. But then later on, I was able to get on eBay used. I got a Motorola bag phone. That's right. I was bad with my bag phone. So what's a bag phone? What's all the bag about? Well, when you look at the picture here, you can't see it. But it had like a 10-inch battery. The battery was huge, and it was heavy. You had to put it in the bag. Then it had the big power cord, and it had the lighter adapter so you could talk in the car while you were driving. Yeah. Then you were doing something. So then you got the handset, and you have the curly, windy cord that goes back to the bag. And then if you look at the bag there, there's an antenna. And so then you could walk around with the bag over your shoulder with the antenna up and talk on the phone with the cord going up to the handset, and you looked really, really cool. Now, here's what's interesting, children. You think that uh, cell phones, you could just war, you know, wander everywhere that you wanted to. Guess what our coverage area was when I had my Motorola bag phone through Southwestern Bell? It was pretty much the Jefferson City City Limits. Mm -hmm. That's right. You got like maybe 200 minutes in your plan, and after that, it was 30 cents a minute. And if you dared, like, drive to Columbia, mm -mm, you didn't want to do that. That would run you 75 cents a minute. And every time it connected to another tower, you'd have to pay, like, $2. So if you fooled around talking on the phone in Columbia, you'd end up with a four or $500 phone bill. And that was not a good thing. So that is the bag phone. Who out there had a bag phone? Type a little message there and let me know if you had the bag, if you were bad enough to have the bag, baby. Mm -hmm. Now, here we go. This is neat. Um, I think it was like early 90s. This is the Nokia kind of smartphone. I think this was supposedly smart back then. This sucker had a keyboard. You could flip it open and look at the antenna. That's kind of funny back when phones had antennas. And then this thing had a monochrome screen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now compare that ugly thing that ran, I think it was like 600 bucks. Compare that to the iPhone. Now look at this iPhone. I love my iPhone, but don't you know this is something that I dreamed about as a kid. I never thought I'd see the day that we'd have a phone that you could just touch and manipulate, you know, the screen like this. This is more powerful than the biggest desktop computer that we had like 20 years ago. Computers could not do this. And now it's sitting here in the palm of your hand on a phone. It's ridiculous. So there's your little smartphone flashback. But last but not least, this is, this is cool here. Kids, what is that? What is it? If you answered rotary phone, very good. Good for you. Now, the rotary phone is what I grew up with. And uh, you know what? Funny story. Funny story. I was talking to a friend of mine at work who's an information technology specialist in IT, the computer people, and uh, he's like 26. And then uh, another lady was standing there, and she's about my age. She's an IT person. And we were talking about rotary phones, and he said, you know, how did you know how to get a certain number? How did that work? And I was like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe this. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you know what number you're getting? And then my friend had explained to him, you stick your finger in the hole for that number, rotate around the dial, and the little stop will stop your finger. Then you let go, and it would rotate back and go. And then the amount of little pecks that you would hear as it would go backwards would determine what that number was. So um, this is a stylish rotary phone in red, which, by the way, they weren't red back in the good old days. You couldn't get different colors. Okay, trivia question. Who was the phone company back when there was a monopoly? And furthermore, what color were all phones? Your wall phone, because they would only stick to the wall. There was no such thing as a desk phone. It was only on the wall. What 
color or the phones? Answer down below. And don't look it up. Don't cheat. Don't look it up on the Internet. And then I tell you what, one funny thing was when they came out with the long cord. Yeah. So then my big sister Sherry could talk to her boyfriend around the corner in the hallway so we couldn't hear their lovey dovey little chitter chatter. Mm hmm. I busted on you. That's right. I told your business, Sherry. Mm hmm. Sorry, Reggie. No disrespect. Actually, you were probably one of the ones that she was talking to around the corner. All lovey dovey and everything. So, mm hmm. I just told your business, too. Anyway. Anyway, that is uh, some interesting stuff there with the history of cell phones. So um, let me know if you know the answer to the trivia question. So just answer right here below and tell me if you know what color those phones were. So I'm going to go ahead and do some computing because I'm going to the movies tonight and got stuff to do. So we'll see you later.